Hi there. After the uh, war on the fest, I uh, was reminded about this guy. Uh, you might recognize him from the uh, reviews at War of Fest. This is the, the old one, like the classic Lord of Nurgle, which I had lying around and I thought, uh, yeah, maybe let's build him. So, uh, quite quickly I figured out again why I was so happy that we moved away from metal. <laughs> because metal is quite a pain to work with. Uh, I mean, it's beautiful material, it's nice and heavy. But it's uh, not very nice to clean up or cut or uh, glue together because uh, you need to pin it basically. The thing is that if you glue metal parts together the only option that you have is a uh, crazy glue, super glue and um, while it's a very strong glue it's quite brittle as well so if you drop your miniature chances are that it will just uh, tear apart from falling. So you need to add some pins to get things to stick together more more tightly. Drilling into metal is not one of my favorite things. <laughs> when I was doing this I was reminded of the um, the old metal uh, Space Marine Dreadnought, that big honking boxy thing. I built a couple of those in the past and uh, that was quite a nightmare. Uh, uh, pinning is something that I uh, I picked up while working with metal. A couple of years ago is when I uh, bought my hand vise and a, a set of drill bits. And it's actually a, something I still use even with plastics and, uh, and resins. Because it's, it's absolutely necessary for metal uh, to, to make it stick together properly. But for plastics and resins it's actually quite useful too. You combine plastics and, and resins, so here the, the base is plastic. Uh, I my only option again is, is crazy glue, and I get with uh, the the same the same problems. So what I do here is I also uh, pin it through the base into the foot, um, and also the helmet here is a uh, plastic helmet into a resin body. So I pinned it there as well. So um, pinning is something that uh, I use uh, with almost all my builds, and also where I use it is uh, if the plastic even with plastic to plastic connections if the plastic becomes very thin because the uh, if you put a metal pin inside the plastic it will become more rigid and less prone to bending and then snapping after a while so that, that helps uh, what do you need you need a, a drill vise i use a hand drill because it gives me a bit more control than with a uh, electric drill you need some metal wire in different sizes uh, you can just pick this up from the, the hardware store i think this is zero point eight millimeters and this is 0 0.5 millimeters or something so basics of pinning is very simple you take a drill you take an object let's say i want to uh, give this guy a flamer and i just drill into one end because you need to have the space you can gauge it like this so and say okay now i know roughly how deep it is this is this is perfectly fine for plastic don't make it too shallow because then it'll pop out very easily and now because uh, there's already a gap over here, I don't need to be too uh, secure on, uh, on where it matches. If I wanted to use this arm instead, then uh, here it's flush. Uh, since it's flush, I'm not exactly sure where the hole needs to be. And I can just guess and drill a hole. But once I drill my hole and uh, it's, not, it's, uh, it's maybe too high or something, there's not much I can do uh, besides drilling another hole. Uh, but if the holes get too close together, you'll get a big mess of holes, and that's not gonna, gonna be nice. So, um, there's a trick to figure out exactly where it needs to be, which is to take a, uh, a wire and insert it. There's no glue here, and I uh, clip off the wire slightly above the, uh, the joint. And now I have a small tip, and I can use a tip to just make an impression here, and say, okay, that's where I need to have my hole. And then I can pull this one out, and now that I know, I can drill the hole over here. And glue. And here, clip over length. Okay. Now I can uh, do a test fit and see how much I need to cut off. And there we go, we have a pin. 
Now for this one it's a bit easier because there's already a hole there so it needs to be less secure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill uh, down like that into the arm. Again, take some wire, some glue, clip it off. And now I need to bend this one a bit. Yeah, test fit it again, clip off a bit. And that's it. Voila, a pin. So now if I just, uh, if I want to stick them together permanently, I'll just add some crazy glue on top of the uh, the metal and on the the edge around here uh, hold them together and they're uh, together for life yeah I haven't uh, had any of these joints snap off ever yet by just dropping it uh, uh, a miniature with a pin hardly ever breaks at the, the pin now the other thing is uh, what I said is the uh, the top knot and that's a very thin Pin. and you might wonder how do you do that because that, that connection is very thin I mean and that's just what it is so I took these uh, these sisters of silence heads uh, I cut off the, uh, the top knot like that and uh, then I drilled it with a thinner drill I can just show you let's go cut off the top knot There we go. Need to go down to my uh, 0.5 millimeter drill bit. Yeah, and now it's just really carefully drilling into it, and that's what I said at the start. Why I like a, uh, a hand uh, drill because if you do this with a mechanical drill, um, yeah, good luck with that. And so what I do is I, uh, I start drilling. And I just keep checking whether I'm going in the right direction or not. And drill very slowly. Yeah, if you're going uh, not quite straight I hope I can show you. You can see that the plastic will turn a bit white, and that gives you a, uh, a warning or on whether you're going the right direction. It's turning a bit white, but I'm already uh, almost near the top, so I'm just going to continue here because uh, I don't think it's going to break through. Yeah, look, look at that. I'm already in the in the top knot now. I don't want the pin to be too short because otherwise. It won't help if I just get my pin up to here uh, it won't be a good pin yeah that's nice all right so I take my smaller gauge wire come on and there we go a top knot with a pin now to attach it to the helmet the only thing you need to do, of course, is drill a hole into the helmet and then uh, glue it on. And that's it. So now I have a series of top knots with, a, uh, with pins that I can safely attach to my just tear and terminators. There we go. And the other, yeah, the final thing that is uh, where it helps a lot is if you have uh, surfaces that don't match. So say that I want to attach this tree to the base. So if I just put some glue here, um, it's not really gonna stick. I can sand this flat, of course, and make it stick. That's one option. But the other thing I can also do is just make a pin, drill a hole. Now this is quite a big object, so I'm drilling my uh, pin quite a bit deeper. Okay, take a pin. The base is uh, quite thin, so there's not much uh, meat to grab for the glue. So what I can do in that case is I can uh, bend this into the position that I want to have it. Let's say like this. And then the, the rest of the pin I could cut it off but I can also bend it to the base and then glue that. Uh, so that makes a bigger surface to stick to. That's it. The joys of pinning. I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope you 
never have to encounter these hunking honks of metal um, because you don't wish that onto any of your enemies or your friends think it's a cool model I'll make it into a small diorama probably like this yeah with some uh, dead bodies around there or something something like this maybe I don't know yeah oh wait I had uh, an old armor next to it yeah man this is gonna be awesome uh, anyway I'm going to uh, continue building this uh, see you next time bye